And right now, the city of Lauder Hill is deciding whether or not to shut down a center that provides services to the homeless in Broward County. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with where the city stands. Terrell. Yeah, the future of this homeless resource center had been up in the air over some perceived code violations. In fact, uh, the operators of this facility had been scheduled to meet face to face uh, with those uh, operators and a magistrate at City Hall. But we are told that that meeting will not happen after all. Let's take you inside. This is our food pantry. The boxes are stacked high inside of the pantry of donated goods for life and for families, indicative of the need, says the charity's CEO. Mainly non-perishables because of the fact that we're moving them around, but we really try to give a variety of foods. 2,500 meals a month are delivered to the needy by the nonprofit organization. This is where all the work happens. And in the kitchen and dining hall, volunteers serve the homeless hot food, roughly 400 meals a day. It's a restaurant quality meal, uh, and then they um, can see our caseworkers, they can take showers. Women, children, and men like Lester Palmer rely on LifeNet daily. But it's an awesome place here. It need to continue to go on. It helps a lot of people. And how often do you come here? Oh, five to six days a week. But those good deeds were in jeopardy of being permanently shut down after these recent code enforcement citations from the city of Lauder Hill, each taking issue with an outdoor mobile shower area and a covering over a seating area. In fact, our cameras rolling as code enforcement officers return to the scene for another unannounced inspection after the facility complied with the order to remove the mobile showers. The situation had been slated for a hearing at City Hall today. One of the things that might have happened today was that our certificate of use would have been taken and we would have not been able to operate. That's obviously a significant concern for us. But that hearing suddenly canceled Wednesday and a statement to Local 10 from an assistant city manager says LifeNet has come into compliance by removing the showers. In this case, an affidavit of compliance will be issued and the case will be closed. So the operators of this homeless resource center say that that is a bittersweet move. They are happy that they are still able to provide this service to the needy here in Broward County. Uh, but on the other hand, they really wanted that opportunity to meet with an objective person, in this case, uh, the magistrate at City Hall to state their case and the, uh, ex really explain the critical services that they provide here and what was really behind those areas that were deemed problematic. Stay tuned. We are live in Lauder Hill, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.